Hello everybody, Raid Day here, and you know what day it is. Yes, it's Thursday, which means we get new stuff from the developers, so let's check it out. This new shiny locker allows you to store your loadouts for whenever you need them. By clicking swap, it will swap your current loadout with the one you store inside the locker. To store your current loadout, simply click on swap, and it will put anything you're wearing and anything in your hotbar inside. You can remove anything from the locker if you make a mistake, but beware, you can't put anything back in, you have to swap it all again. I'm not sure why you can't just click and drag items into the locker, but I'm pretty sure this feature will be added soon. And yes, you can lock your lockers by adding a key lock or a code lock, your choice. Not a lot has been added this week, but there's been a few fixes. The LR world model was sometimes randomly appearing invisible, but now has been fixed. But in the process, it seems that they've created a new bug with the LR. Currently, the LR cannot be suppressed. The suppressor does not work for the LR. So don't waste your high quality metal if you've got an LR. Because it won't sound any different. There was another bug where if you placed a metal shop front on a triangle foundation, you couldn't place walls around it, but it's now been fixed. You may have noticed that some of your skinned items in games would return to their original skin. This was due to a skin memory leak problem and has now been fixed. Another change made to the game, C4 will no longer stick to deployables such as chairs and tables. There was a bug where one of the harbours wouldn't display on the map and has now been fixed to display both. Speaking of maps, don't you just hate travelling all the way across the map to a vendor machine just to find out that the thing's empty? Me too. Now it displays red if it is out of stock and green if it's in stock. Thank you, I appreciate this update. Another change, which is a big one in my eyes, you can now find auto turret parts in purple boxes and also in towns. And if that didn't make crafting turrets easy enough for you, you'll be glad to know that they reduced the price of the auto turret and the flame turret. Now I'm not sure what they were before, but all I know is they've been reduced. Placeables, such as tables and chairs, now require a hammer to pick them up. This should hopefully stop you accidentally picking them up by mistake. Also, you need to be authorised on the tool cupboard in order to pick them up now, which is a great addition because before random people could just come into your house and just steal your rugs and it was annoying. Another change which some of you may hate and some of you may like, the semi-automatic pistol has been nerfed. Oh no! But the semi-automatic rifle however has been buffed. So some of you may like it, some of you may not. Let me know in the comments. Now when spawning the things in for the video I noticed some new things that I haven't seen before and uh, it's quite interesting. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, what is that item you just placed on the door? Well, my friends, this is a door closer. Now, it is, it's in the name, it closes your door for you. And I, and I kind of like it and I kind of don't because now there's little pesky noobs who forget to lock their doors. Well, I, I can't raid them anymore, but um, I sort of like it because now if I forget to lock my door, I guess I'm safe. But uh, essentially, it places on the top right of your door and it closes it for you. It has no world model at the minute, it seems to just be the, uh, the code lock model. But it's pretty cool. Now, the concept of electricity has been around for quite a while in the Rust community. But as you can see here, I found a wind turbine while searching for items in the admin menu. And it says that it converts kinetic energy harvested from the wind into electricity. Which I think if they added this, would be pretty damn cool. Now, I couldn't figure out how to place this thing down. I tried placing it on top of mountains and high up places and it didn't seem to work. So it seems you can't place it in the minute. I just couldn't figure out where to place it at all. But I tried. If you guys can figure it out, let me know in the comments. Now this is the smoke rocket work in progress. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. God, too many exclamation marks. And I've seen a concept for this before, or I think it was a concept or an idea that uh, that's been requested before. But essentially, this is a rocket which, well, as it says, emits thick visibility blocking smoke upon impact. Now, with a minute, it seems that it doesn't actually work, as it says it is a work in progress. But uh, it actually doesn't do anything right now. I also tried it on walls and things, and it, it literally does no damage at all. Uh, and damage to doors is non-existent. So, don't be trying to use these in your raids. Some other things I spotted while trying to spawn things in was these new foods. The rotten apple and the spoiled meats. Now I'm guessing 
the fridge is going to have a big part of this. Now, I'm guessing if you leave your food out of a fridge for too long, maybe they go off. This could be an interesting change to rust. Lastly, helicopters have had a big change and I almost forgot to include this. Helicopters will now fire napalm strikes at you if you're not authorised on a cupboard near a base. Now the dev said that the napalm strike shouldn't do any damage to any bases, but for some reason the helicopters were either firing both rockets and napalm strikes or the napalm strikes were doing damage. Now I think this may be because no one else was authorised on my cupboard, that, that could possibly be the reason. But if it isn't, then that needs fixing. Alright everybody, thank you for watching my video, I really appreciate it. I'm going to be adding the changelog in the description of this video. There is a lot of things I haven't included in this video which you should definitely read. I know, reading, so hard. But check it out, honestly, it, it will be worth it. Thank you for watching, I love you all, goodbye.